Hi, my name is Mike from Mike's uh, Carburetor Parts. And uh, I'm getting ready to uh, rebuild a Holley 1904 one barrel carburetor. Uh, these are on a lot of old Ford pickups, and uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, they go back to the late 40s, uh, early 50s, and uh, up through 60, I think. Maybe a little past, depending on what it is. But at any rate, um, I'm going to rebuild this one. This one has a uh, the spark valve in it. Yeah, they come uh, with and without. And this is all about helping to control vacuum uh, for the uh, vacuum advance on the distributor. Uh, I can get into that later. But what I'm going to do is uh, take this apart and get it ready for uh, cleaning. And I just thought I'd do a video on taking it apart so you can see how the parts go together. Uh, and then uh, I'll do uh, uh, subsequent videos on uh, putting it all back together. <clears throat> Take the float ball off. These uh, float bowls tend to get warped and they, they uh, are prone to leaking because people tighten them down too much and warp them out of shape. And uh, what they're doing basically is bending these ears. And uh, I take them and put them in the vise and I'll take a brass drift punch and uh, you know bang them a little bit and uh, try to straighten them out. And that usually uh, does the job. Some of these have glass bowls on them. They're interchangeable. Glass bowls are hard to come by. Okay, we have a problem already with this one. I may not go any further. Um, I'll have to think about it. This has a uh, uh, nitrofill float. And they tend to absorb fuel over the years. And I don't like putting them back in there. Unfortunately, uh, with these 1904s, they don't make floats for them anymore. And they're very hard to come by. And I don't have any extras, I don't believe. So, but I'll go ahead and finish taking it apart. But I have a feeling I may sell this one for parts. What y'all do if it's not... Uh, good rebuildable unit I'll take it apart and sell the pieces to it some of this stuff is can be useful This diaphragm here is just a uh, that comes off. I'm gonna take that off, get that off here in a bit. Um, this right here, you want to make sure they're nice and straight and, and work good because uh, this is what uh, um, opens up and lets more fuel in uh, this little valve right here, and it's all about this thing right here, and it works off a of vacuum and at low vacuum. Um, this is uh, pulled up. See, it's got a spring on it. This is pulled up on low vacuum, or excuse me, on high vacuum. So at low speeds, idle, uh, this is going to be pulled up, and that's when you have high vacuum. So as you get higher speeds and you have less vacuum, this thing's going to fall down and uh, press down on this little needle and allow more fuel to flow.
Ne? Ja, okay. Now some of these, you have a little check ball in here and in here, and uh, I'll get to what all they do with, uh, when I put it back together. And these have uh, screw-in plugs, and some of them have just plugs. You plug them like that. I do have the plugs. I'm, uh, I need to add them to the kits because they don't come in the kits. And you take the plug out, um, and I'll explain that too. You don't necessarily need to take them out. Let's see. Um, you had a weight in the big one, in the deep one. Now <clears throat> you got two different check balls, and I might as well go this right quick. Um, I know the big check ball was in here, but uh, now you probably can't see it. But you can you can look at the hole where the check ball sits into. They sit into a little, uh, oh, a little trough kind of thing, and I, I can tell that one's bigger than the other. So obviously the bigger check ball goes in here. So, uh, but that's not the only check ball. So if you want to, uh, what you can do is mark them or something and keep them aside. This this weight goes here on top of the ball. Now this popped out, but there's your diaphragm, your accelerator diaphragm, and and this spring goes on there just like that up against here when you put this on like that okay so that's the way that goes all right pull a idle mixture screw out I do carry new idle mixture screws I have a premium kit for the 1904 uh, uh, I've taken the regular kit and added things to it and one of them is a uh, idle mixture screw uh, we take the actuator off this one has the plastic actuator, impossible to find. Uh, I get used ones every once in a while when I part a carburetor, but they're really hard to come by and expensive. Uh, they don't make new ones, they haven't for years, so there you go. And this one's plastic and they're, real, they're prone to break. Okay, so that's loose. And uh, so what I have here, the actuator, what it does, it, it hooks up to this... Uh, linkage right here to the throttle and uh, it, I didn't want to make it uh, show you how it worked because it's all frozen up in there uh, but it pushes against the accelerator pump and incidentally there's uh, a couple of these that are alike and the difference is a little bit of length and if you get the wrong one in here your actuator isn't going to run the accelerator pump correctly so uh, and that's one of the things about getting the correct kit. Um, you, uh, if you don't have the carburetor number and you're guessing at the kit, there's here's the problem. You may get the a kit with the wrong diaphragm in it. <clears throat> okay, so here's the other check ball. Um, if you've seen this, this was on here like this, and uh, this when uh, uh, squeezes on the back of it, a check ball fits in the little hole there, and and. Uh, holds it on there so here's your another little small check ball let's see if just for grins um, here's our two check balls and this one here this check ball is the same as the small check ball that went in here okay so basically you only have, really have to keep track of one check ball now you get new check balls in the kits and uh, you know the big one goes here and the two left goes in the other two places and that's it for check balls all right I know the check ball thing is, is pretty confusing it is to me sometimes because boy here's the problem you don't know if it had the right check balls in the right places to start with I find them all over the place some left out I find check balls in places they seem to be supposed to have a check ball so, and I'm taking the throttle body off now. Okay, 
and check the valve. It's plenty tight. You don't have to worry about it. I don't bush these things just to bush them. Uh, the other thing you watch out for is uh, these will get loose right here on the shaft sometimes and they'll wiggle. Um, and what I do is uh, braze them. Uh, this one's fine. But if you get one that's uh, uh, loose here, uh, you want to braze it. But anyway, your up and down um, movement is what you want to check for to, to see if it's uh, got too much play in it. And this doesn't. And this, uh, take this valve off. And like I say, if yours don't have this valve, uh, don't get shook. Uh, not all of them do. Okay. Hello. Okay, I'm doing a video. Or I was. <laughs> Okay, so there we go, the throttle body. And we have the main body left. We'll check, this is your vacuum line. It usually goes to the distributor. Um, this one has all the parts to the manual choke, so that's kind of nice. And the choke seem, doesn't seem to be real loose. Okay, here's your little, uh, where your, this is where your gas will come out of uh, when you press the accelerator pump. And... Uh, got a special little screw in it so don't lose it and uh, I don't usually take this choke out unless uh, there's a good reason to because uh, uh, you, you uh, can do more damage to them than anything they got a big pin in it you got to beat out and uh, it's a real pain Um, now this one probably should have a check ball in here with a little clip to hold it in, a little retainer. Uh, I think somebody's left it out. Not all of them have it. Your uh, carburetor number, by the way, is right here. And um, that sometimes they're, they're very hard to read. It just gets pitted right here for some reason. And uh, you, you can't hardly read the number, but you need to try and make it out. That's the only place uh, you have a number on these things may have happened to have a part number somewhere like the 32R1958 well that's the part number for the throttle uh, body now if you have a parts list and you can uh, backtrack by finding this part number uh, you may be able to figure out which carburetor it is that way uh, but the big difference is the in them is the uh, um, accelerated pump that's a big difference between the different kits on these so alright so we have it apart and I'm gonna get it uh, get it in the cleaner. We'll get it all cleaned up and uh, then we'll go uh, put it back together And I may put it back together just to, to finish the uh, this series uh, even with this uh, Float and then I probably will just junk it thereafter Okay, thank you for watching